Alright, hey there guys, and welcome back to Strawberries to the... Well, now, oh god. <laughs> Night just ended. And, um, we are now playing in Minecraft version 1.6.2, which, um, I bet this is an update, but you guys didn't know. Um, oh god, let's just, let's just, YOLO, let's just do it. Ah, get out of my way! <laughs> it's a yo, why can't I run? Oh my god, running sucks. Look at this ah, Jesus Christ! My stairs are broken. Stay away! Stay away from me! You son of a bitch! Where is he? Where is he? Where's he at? Come on, I dare you to jump. I dare Oh yeah, he got hurt. <sighs> but he can't swim fast. Can he swim fast? He better not be able to swim fast, that's OP. So um these guys aren't new. You guys are probably saying, no, this this guy's already like 1.3 or like something like that. No, uh, I think it was actually was it 1.4? I think little baby the zombie villages were added. Um, but these oh Jesus Christ. Um, but 1.6.2. Uh, what like like since since now, um, the only way you can get these guys if it is is if a zombie bites a little baby villager and they will turn into a little baby zombie villager. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a baby zombie villager, or if it's just a baby zombie, but it's a baby zombie. Uh, <laughs> it's a baby, um, and they, you know, they run fast and they're pretty cool. Um, I, I hate it in those like custom maps when people use like spawn them when the map creator spawns them because they're like they're just so hard to deal with. I think Vex did it in like some super hostile maps, some of the new ones. But here he comes. He'll come around the corner, won't he? Oh, oh man, I might outrun him. I don't think the I don't think these guys despawn. Either. I know they don't burn in the sunlight, but I don't think they. Do they, I'm not sure if they despawn. Here he is. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. So what what Mojang did was they they made it so that these guys now spawn. Uh, if you guys didn't know, zombie villagers have a five percent chance of spawning, and I don't know what the percentage of these are spawning. Of these are spawning. These these are spawning. Uh, but I wish they'd make it so these guys get set on fire because they're. A little, I don't know how many hearts they have. I bet I can write one hit it with this sword. Where is he? Where is he? Here he is. Let's see. You can kill him now. You've all seen him. I don't know. Two? Die! Yeah. I think it's a two hit. Not that big to deal with, not that annoying to deal with, but <laughs> it'd be kind of annoying. Like, I don't know, they're a little bit overpowered because they can't bend in sunlight. And uh, they can just, they can jump you really easily. Uh, they're a bit like a, a bit like silverfish because they have that. S Actually, no, I think you can hit the top of their hitbox and like the top of their head and they'll hit them, but. <laughs> ah, my Skype's going off. God damn it, Skype. Why is your Skype going off? By the way, guys, if, uh, I got a I got a Skype, uh, a fan Skype, cause um, Cricken was uh, having a fan Skype call and she added me to it, and uh, a bunch of people add me on my normal Skype, which I don't really want to be out to everyone to see, just because I, I want it to be a little bit private, because it's what I use for business and talking with friends and the other YouTube stuffs. Uh, but I have a fan Skype. I'll put it on my channel and the description. It, it should be in the description. Just click on that show more thing, and it'll say Skype. Like this little thing that says stalk me. It should have my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Then I have my Skype, and my Skype is Ama. I am a strawberry jam fan. Uh, and uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so last time we finished our little um. Enchanting place. I put this bookshelf here. I thought I was gonna put a crafting table here, but I I forgot the the texture. I could put a wood plank there, but no. But yeah, uh, yeah, we can enchant stuff. It's cool. Um, you might also notice that I've set up like a little brewing place. Um, sorry if you guys wanted me to set up something like what Ether has got going on with his freaking fully automatic freaking thing. No, <laughs> this is no Ether lab. It's just strawberry jabs. Uh, with the place, and um, you know we got, we got a water source in the corner here. Um, I like how this ended up looking like. I used to have it just straight along here, and I didn't like it, but I made it bend, and uh, I don't know it sort of made it like look look a little bit bigger, but also fits in well. And then um, you can get the water out here because I'd I'd rather have it in the cauldron. But the thing is, a, ca a cauldron can hold one one block of water, but it can only hold three bottles of water, whereas a uh, whereas one water source block can hold infinite bottles of water. So I have it like that. Uh, I want to do it a little bit bro brewing. So how about I'll try to remember. I'll just make a whole bunch of um these potions. Uh, so if we just do this in here, they should all brew up. Hopefully, I can teach you guys something that you didn't know. So, uh, but I already got some splash speed potions. I I would just throw them on because these are so easy to make, man. So this potions is like my favorite potion because it just makes you go fast, and especially when you're recording a video, like going fast is just a good thing because um 
you know, they're good and stuff. Anyway, one thing I want to make, that's a gust here. I only have one of those. I want to make some, uh, 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 magma cream. If you want magma cream, I mean, that would make some fire resistance potions if we ever go back to the nether. Um, they're always cool. I have some extra blaze rods in here in case I want to make some more brewing stands, but I think four is enough. Uh, I, I don't think I'll ever, at a time, be making more than, uh, four, you know, two, four plus, whatever, 12, 12 potions at once. So, there we go. There's those. I want to make some more, um, uh, sugar potions, whatever these ones are. The, uh... What are they? Uh, swiftness potions. So we get those. I like to have the splash ones because um, if I'm if I'm riding my horse, uh, you can actually splash it on your horse, and your horse will go a little bit quicker. It's not really noticeable uh, from what I've seen, but I also make a, uh, a a night night vision one in case we ever do something at night, and I want you guys to see. Uh, I these these ones I always seem to forget about the night vision ones just because they're so recent. Um, like whenever I do like mod reviews and it's starting to go like dark, instead of typing the command, I should just remember. Oh damn it! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's a dumbass move, dumbass. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I should I should drink one of those. Anyway, we got the fire resistance. I will actually put um a redstone in those. Now a glowstone will double the effect. So if you want sprint uh, speed two, you can put glowstone in. And if you want uh just like it, if you want the it lengthened, um you can put redstone in. And I have loads of redstone, so um that is cool. Uh, I don't I don't really use speed two, I'd rather just have speed one for longer, so I'll just put those in for these guys. And I'll probably turn half of these into a splash potion. So we got the night vision ones, and we want to put some more redstone in these guys. And to make that a night vision two. Okay, that is sweet! Uh, we'll take these guys out. I'll probably just store my potions in this chest here. Uh, over here, I'll, I'm storing just some some enchanted items that I don't really use. Uh, once I get to level, I think it's 19, I can join these two together. The effic oh no, these two, the efficiency and the unbreaking uh, to make like a working pickaxe. Uh, last episode we got this one, but this one is fortune on it, so I'll probably use this one for mining, um, and then this one for like just breaking out lo loads of land because you don't want to waste your fortune. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Anyway. Are these guys done? Those ones are done. We've got these ones. I don't really need the, these ones right now. I'm not really building anything. So we'll take those out. Uh, I want to make these into splash ones. Actually, I, yeah, we'll just make them into splash ones because they don't stack anyway. Ooh, we'll take you out. And there we go. And then we should be ready to roll out. We'll roll out. I don't know. I don't know what we're really doing today. Um, I think what I might do is um, I want to... Uh, for a while, I need to gather up some animals for down there, but I'm, I'm just—it's so boring gathering animals. I might just do that off screen. You might notice that um my my brick wall is uh changed. I changed it to stone brick than cobblestone. I didn't really like like I was using cobblestone too much, and even though cobblestone, I, I always like the look of cobblestone, but I I was using it a little bit too much, so I decided to just calm down a bit and uh and uh, change that to stone brick because when I when I changed it, this text pack to a resource pack originally. Uh, I changed all the cobblestone to stone brick, and I, I sort of like the look of it. So, uh, yeah. Let's get out of here. <laughs> so, I think what I might actually do is um, set up a... This might sound a little bit boring too, but a branch mine. Uh, I, I've needed to set up a branch mine for, uh, branch mine for a while because um, branch mining, like, always... What the hell was that noise? Branch mining always... Uh, am I, am I, do I want to set up... I don't know. Do I want to... Uh, my brain. Uh, branch mining, like, if you, if you, like, okay, so if I look at my chest over here, like, just about, shh, I hear a skeleton. What are you at, skeleton? A lot of you guys have been saying I need to repair my sword, and I'll, I'll do that next episode, because this one still has a good couple hundred hits on it, and I think it's like, um, like, 20 levels to fix that or something. Um, what do I want? Uh, yeah, if I look at this chest here, I only have this much cobblestone, two of these ones, so... Mm, that's not too good. Uh, I think I might want a little bit more than that because I it's always good for building and stuff. And uh, I usually have a branch mine set up. Uh, if you guys have know how to set up, like, because what I, I rather than just having like a branch mine where it's just a hole in the ground, I sort of want to make it like a little bit interesting. Uh, well, what do I mean by oh, someone's been breaking my farm. A little bit interesting. So like the mine will go in through here. Um. And then probably head down here, down this way, uh, down here, I think it is, down, oh, hey, creeper, whoa, he bounced off every wall, what, 
You go all the way down there? <laughs> get down there. Oh, uh, let's get some torches in here. This place is really dark. Uh, get some of that. Um, if you guys think the bubbles are annoying, I'll turn particles off. But uh, I don't think they're too annoying there. They're sort of cute and sweet. Um, but yeah, we'll go down here. Um, around the corner here with our minecart track. Uh, come down here. Uh, not here. Hope it up. Whereabouts? Down here. Uh, across here maybe. Uh, then somehow link it down to that, uh, thingy, and then maybe break into a wall somewhere, go down a bit more, and that will be our mine, uh, maybe we'll actually go through that, not down this way, because this way seems to be really open, I want to sort of take it down there, and, uh, down there will be our mining operation, and then, uh, once we're finished with all our main mining, we can, uh, shoot our ores back up here, but what I want to know is, do you guys know any videos out there that, that make, like, an automatic... Or if you guys know how to, could you could you make a video for me even, which I think is a little bit too much effort. If you guys know like um, a video where someone does a tutorial on how to make a fully automatic smelting system, uh, what I mean by that is where you can um, go down to your branch mine, do your branch mining for however long you want, an hour, two hours, four hours, 12 hours, then come back out, dump everything into a chest, uh, push that chest, al whoa, hey, that's a drop. That's a drop in a half. Uh, push that chest along, and then that will uh, that will go straight up to the surface, uh, or not, not into the surface. That you can push that chest along, and um, that will go into a system. They'll unload into it like an, a hopper and stuff, and uh, into like a bunch of furnaces where you can smelt all your ores and stuff. And then that will lead into some chests where you can then shoot that up into the surface. So, yeah, if you guys know how to, oh hey, I might kill you for a ball. You first. Uh, let's do this. What's better, pickaxe or axe? Plus five, plus five. Axe. Axe it is. Oh, Edwin, come here. Was not looking at you. Oh, I have no armor on. That's not a good thing. If I die, it's not my fault. It is my fault. Ah! 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 Killed him with a shovel. <laughs> Kill that man with a shovel. Yeah! All right. Mm, nothing in here. There's some there's some coal here that I want. I I did say that I do a big mining episode or or a caving episode and Q and A soon. Um, uh, maybe I'm not sure when. It needs to be a day when I'm like not at home a lot because those like one hour, two hourish episodes take a long, 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 long time to upload. Um, and while I'm uploading those, I can't play any server things. I can't <laughs> like I can't really record anything on servers or. Anything like that, which is, you know, what I what I like to do. Um, so, hey, where are you guys coming from? Two villager zombies. Is there a village near here? Been infected. That's the way I've been hearing zombies from. All right. Uh, by the way, you guys really like that. Um, the Hive released a new mini game called um, Get Out of Here, Zombies. Um, called uh, Hide and Seek, and I posted a video on it uh, just the day it came out, I think. And you guys really like that. Uh, and uh, be sure to check out all the other mini games I've been playing because they they're all fun. They're all good, good fun. A lot of you guys are wanting me to do survival. How did you get here? Survival games. Um, I'll get around to that definitely at some point. It's just survival games. I'm not good at that. I suck at. It. <laughs> I don't know if it's on an Australian server, I'm pretty decent at it. But just on like servers like the MCSG, like US ones and the Hive, I'm not good at those on there. I I prefer the games where it's not like. You know, you require a really good connection to play. It's more like having fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, let's... I hear one. Where is he? Oh, I think it was a cow. This guy broke my wheat. I think he landed off the, off the edge there. All right, let's sleep. Sleep. Um, whoop. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get on to working on this mine. I sort of want to do a little bit of work off screen. So I will take a quick quick break here. And I'll jump right back when I'm ready. So yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm just... I'm just... Oh, that's my sword. I'm just clearing out some space for this uh, minecart track going down here. Here. Um, and hmm, I just want to explain to you guys a couple of things that I want want about this mine shaft. So, first thing first is I want this mine shaft to look pretty. I don't want it to just be like a hole in the ground. Like any any idiot can dig a hole in the ground. I want I sort of want I killed a zombie. I sort of want the uh the mine shaft to look nice. Um that's what sort of why I want to lead it down into there even though I'm not sure. I'm 
I might actually, like, this isn't going to be the final product here. Uh, I actually sort of want to make it like the uh, the mineshafts down here, except for instead of having, um, uh, what's it called, the wood planks on top, I want to put wood logs, because I think the wood logs look a bit better on top, uh, going, like, an opposite direction. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> I sort of got to figure out a way to get, ah, down. There's a spider spawner, like, right here. Yeah, here, here, I'm going to get rid of it, because I'm going to die a lot when I come down here. Stop. Break that. There we go. Get out of here. Are you a creeper? I hear something down here. What are you? Oh, it's a creeper! I have no armor on. <laughs> I haven't had armor on for like five episodes. Ah, Jesus. Get away from me. Yeah, that's right. You die. Mm, you die. <laughs> uh, I haven't had armor on for like two episodes now, so... Yeah, I should figure something out to do with that. Now, let's get rid of this here. This is ugly. Uh, I sort of want to continue it. This looks good place to continue on. This the good place to continue on. Good English there, Mitchell. Um, but I sort of want to have something like this. This is really dark here. Have, I think we should lead it off on here. Mm -hmm. Um, let's clear out some of this. Uh, but I just got to figure out a path, um, from the top to get down here because it sort of just like dips down a bit because of the ravine. So, I'm going to keep on clearing away some some of this space here. Uh, I just didn't want to get too far ahead of myself and then have to explain a lot. So I'll just clear out some space here and then I'll jump right back when I'm ready to show a little bit more. So yeah. <laughs> Dude, look. Look at this. Look at this zombie eye. I missed it. Look at this AI. This guy. So I go into this cave here. Let's get some of this splash potion so I can walk quicker. Where they come from? I go into this cave here. Punch one zo- I oh, look at that coming They're falling from the sky. Punch one zombie, right? And then all these guys try to find a path to get right back up. I think this guy's just chilling down here, but these guys went all the way around there and they're coming up here somewhere. Dude, I I don't know if I love it or hate it, but oh god, it's amazing. This new Ah Jesus! AI. <laughs> and I just go get some armor. Let's get some armor. Let's do that. That'll be that'll be good. That'll be helpful. Let's uh yeah, let's go do that. Nothing happened. Nothing happened! Wait, I know what I need. I need one of these things. Uh, give me that. Oh my god, nothing better pick up my stuff. Nothing better pick up my stuff. So, um, I saw a zombie while I was mining some blocks. <laughs> Flashbacks to my hardcore series. If you guys haven't seen my hardcore series, by the way, go watch that for 1.5 Minecraft. That was a good fun, that series. But, um, at the end of that series, spoilers, uh, I died by falling into a ravine. I got shot by a skeleton, and uh, I just got hit by a zombie. Wait, what's down there where my stuff is? I killed him! Let's see, is there a creeper down there? I oh, know, let's just see. Wow, I fall on the... I didn't want to do that! Yeah, of course there's a creeper down there. I'm going to actually... And there's a skeleton. Alright, I see my sword. I don't want... I just don't want another creeper to block my item, so I'm going to... Alright, that's good. Just get away from my items, please! Ah! Oh no! Oh, that record disc. I think that record disc was in my inventory. Alright, I need to get my, my full full iron back on. Uh, I don't have any pants. Where are my pants? Okay. I need that. And, oh, I lost my food quickly. Whew, lucky I have some bread on me. Wow, it's dark down here. Okay. Man. Whoa! Skeleton's attacking a zombie. Yeah, I think I had that record disc in my inventory. I don't know why. I want to move it upstairs because I have a lot of them. <laughs> so that's why there's a record disc in my inventory. Don't worry, I have like 10 of them. Alright, there's my pants. I made some iron arm, and as soon as I make it, I die. Damn it, I had like a, like a few levels. Okay, back to work. Mr. Zombie with fancy butted armor. Give me that armor. Oh! He dropped the helmet. Ah, fancy helmet. Look at me. Uh, okay. So, ah, oh God, I hate the gravel when it messes up the perfect lines. Um, so, oh my, stop it, gravel, please. So, uh, I'm, I'm getting down here. I, I'll i show you guys the path in a second. Uh, and I'm just heading down. This is where my... my oh, that is terrible. This is where my... How did that fall through that torch? That's what I don't get. Uh, this is where my... Um, dude, there are a lot of mobs. I need to light up this cave sometime. Uh, this is where my path ends. And it's heading into where my branch mine is going to be. Now, you guys are probably wondering, like, why do you need a branch mine, man? You can just, like... I don't know. People people don't like branch mines, and 
I'm, I don't know, I'm sort of the opposite, like, sometimes, especially if you have, um, mining is really relaxing in my opinion, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that fun branch mining, you're sort of just breaking two blocks in front of you until you can find something good like redstone, iron, gold, lapis lazuli, coal, I guess coal is pretty good, uh, and diamonds of course, uh, and a lot of people hate it, like people really hate it, but the thing I like about branch mining is it's really relaxing, and the thing I like to do while I branch mine is just, you know, sit back either watch like a TV show, a movie, um, uh, a YouTube video, anything, and it sort of makes me like, cause sometimes I feel like I'm just playing video games, but when I'm branch mining, I sort of feel like I'm actually getting something done, especially when it's in like, um, a Let's Play world, uh, and I probably won't be doing like too much branch mining, probably, like, I, I just need to get a lot of cobblestone, just because a lot of my, my builds recently have been, uh, needing cobblestone, something that I haven't had, which is sort of annoying, so, which, this is the main reason I'm setting this up, is because of cobblestone. Diamonds and stuff, like, I never really worry about losing all my diamonds or ha not having enough diamonds, because, you know, usually when you get settled in the world, you usually just have a, a good stack of them after doing a little bit of exploring. Anyway, so this is going to sit on level 11, uh, if you guys can see it on the wire here. Um, everyone, everyone debates about what's the best level to mine on. Like, I hear people say 10, I hear people say 12, I hear people say 6, or so I, see, I, I hear people say, like, at bedrock level... And I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys, level 11 is the best level to mine at if you're looking for diamonds, or you're just doing your branch mine because level 11 is like on. I need to go up and get some food. Uh, level 11 is uh, in line with with the lava level. So it's it's uh, so say if this is the lava level, this is where level 11 is. The lava will be spawning around this. Say if say if this is this 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 stone here is lava, uh, you you'll be mining along the lava will be at your feet, I guess, that's the best way to explain it, it'll be level with the level you're mining at, and the reason this is good is because when you're mining, you're not going to run, unless, lucky, hopefully you're holding shift every block you mine, uh, so you don't get distracted and jump into lava, but, like, when you're mining on level 10 or level 12, uh, if you, say if you're mining like this, and there's lava, uh, here, it has a chance of jumping out and burning you, and if you're mining like on two levels lower, there's a chance it'll pop out right in your face. Or if you're mining two levels higher, it might be under you. When you break a block, you might step right into it without even noticing. So I like to stick on 11. And if you go any lower than 11, it's it's like just as bad because... um Let's mine this out. Just as bad because uh, the lava could fall on top of your head and you won't even realize it, which can uh, suck. Let's get those out of there. So I'm going to tell you level level 11 is the is the best place to mine at. You can disagree with me, but I, I won't believe you. I can't even run. Let's eat some of this stuff. Rotten flesh. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. All right, it's night time as always. <laughs> I still can't believe I died. I think that's the first time I've died in this series. I didn't do it on camera, but I but I did do it. Um, oh, I didn't get to explain my my path. Anyway, let's let's sleep. Uh, grab some food and jump back into business. Wait, do I have food in here? I have a lot of apples, but I'm saving those for when I need to actually make stuff. Um, where's all my good food, man? I got some raw beef. Let's just cook that up. That won't take too long to cook. We only need a couple pieces. Ah, strawberry jam was doomed to fall by a zombie that was set on fire with some leather pants or something. He didn't even drop leather pants. Alright, let's get some of this food. Uh, so yeah, you can see I got a load of cobblestone now, which is really good. Because I don't like just mining... Like, I hate it when people do that. Like, if you're going to be mining cobblestone, be on level 11 uh, looking for diamonds while you're mining cobblestone. Because if you just go into a random mountain and just dig out a big hole and be like, yeah, I need a cobblestone. It always annoys me because I'd be like, you could have been mining that cobblestone down at level 11 and getting some diamonds or redstone and all that good stuff. How much... Okay, this sword's getting really low. We'll uh, we'll fix this next episode. I'll make sure it doesn't die. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so here's our mine shaft. Uh, I'm not going to put the mine cart track down today. Uh, but it comes down here, uh, it will go down this side here, I sort of want it being three wide the entire time, but there'll be some parts where it won't, so the minecart track will go down here, uh, we'll probably widen this out a bit, just because we can, so it'll come down here, uh, jump down here, this is a little bit angled here, uh, go down this little path here, um, down this spot here, and this is where it will stay in the middle, uh, just to, to be nice and even, so going down here, I've let this all, left this all lit up, oh, that looks ugly, let's move this, I've, I've just put this roof here, just so nothing gets into here, uh, eventually we'll, we'll pretty this up or something, I don't know, just at the moment, it's just a, it's just a prototype, so, 
Trudeau, okay. <laughs> it's just it's just an early build of our design mine shaft thing. We've got to get it working before we make it look pretty. So we'll come down here, again being three wide still, and then I'll link up with this part here. Uh, I've blocked these places off so no mobs come in and wreck my tracks or whatever. Even though mobs are now scared of tracks, like I still don't want them being near me. And uh, eventually we get down to here. Um, so here is going to be um, where the mine starts. And uh, what I want to do is I want to make this... Um, let's do... Um, so this is three, uh, so we need to do one side here, actually I'll make it, and then, what do we do this side, one side here, where is this here, and then one side here, I think I want to make this five by five, yeah, I think that, I think that's a good size, and then, um, once we get this all done, five by five, um, we can make a big long path going down here and then we can uh, branch off into our little little holes on each side and make, you know, mines going all over the place and uh, and then we'll have our, our track going down the middle which will link up and we can send up there and that's where our smelting will happen. So we'll start to work on this project, it's not going to be a, 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 a short one most definitely because this mine will last us forever unless we, we get a new ore that spawns and it's really cool, we'll have to start a mine somewhere else. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Sorry if this episode was a tad boring. If you like mines like I do, um, you probably enjoy it. But uh, I just need to explain this one more thing. So once we get this uh, minecart track going up here, you know, we can minecart up here too. It'll come up here and um, won't stop anywhere around here. We'll just keep going. And uh, hopefully if you guys know of any videos or you know how to uh, make an auto s sorting and smelting system yourself, let me know. But it'll come around here. Oh, hey. Uh, come up here. Now it's just gonna keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Um, keep on going. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Quick and face. And then once it gets up here to the surface, there's a big hole in this room here, which was because I was my I think I was mining out gravel. I needed gravel. Um, so there's a big hole in this room here, and this is where the minecart is gonna stop. Uh, it's gonna curve off into this direction or maybe like even no nah, this is the entrance so we'll curve off into here and this is where our big smelting place will be it'll be part of our mines and then once we once that's done hopefully we can get it to pop out somewhere and then we can pick up all that maybe like pop out like over here we could have like a blacksmith or something here yeah that'll be really cool having a blacksmith here then this could have some sort of a purpose yeah that's really cool um i hear a slime where's he at i want his balls he sounds like he's over here wait let me sound hall Hmm. I've turned up my sound to hi. Ah, oh, here he is. Die, mister. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said at the start, you can click the links in the description to stalk me. I also have Skype, like I said, it's for fans. Just because it's a question that I get so much, do you have Skype? Uh, and I'm sorry, guys, I'm not going to be on it like 24-7. I might be on it once a day, maybe for like half an hour or an hour. Just when I get free time and I just want someone to talk to you or want to... Oh, you know, you, I always like want to connect to you, with you guys and see what you guys are wanting and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Oh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have to say, and I'll see you next. Bye!